do I stand up here? Anybody? To feel taller. No. Thank you for playing, Mr. Dalton. I stand upon my desk to remind myself that we must constantly look at things in a different way. See, the world looks very different from up here. You don't believe me? Come see for yourselves. Come on. Come on. Just when you think you know something, you have to look at it in another way. Even though it may seem silly or wrong, you must try. Ideological literacy looks at literacy in all its permutations and all its complexity. The multiple literacies that we engage in on a daily basis, and that's really where the teacher's role comes in. Sitting here talking about literacy, I'm using a certain way of speaking that I probably won't use when I'm in the grocery store, buying groceries and engaging with the uh, person at the checkout counter. Literacies in Content Areas is designed to strengthen practitioners' approaches to literacy development with diverse learners. This course emphasizes ways to facilitate, mediate, and intervene in the development of adolescent literacy in English and social studies while addressing both content and instruction. Literacies in Content Areas is organized around three essential questions. What is your philosophy of literacy and how is it relevant to your discipline? What causes the privileging of certain literacy practices over others? How can integration of literacies, including new media literacy, in the disciplines provide opportunities for diverse learners? That's really what ideological literacy is trying to get at, that the context has a lot to do with how we practice literacy in different social settings. This course challenges perspectives that literacy is simply a collection of discrete skills. Sociocultural perspectives of literacy suggest that literacy is the means by which individuals make meaning and construct their understandings of the world. An important course objective is also to have you reflect and examine your practice and to put equity and access at the center of how you design and plan your lessons and how you deliver instruction in your classroom, to be inclusive of every student who walks through your door. Candidates will complete a discourse analysis of three discrete segments of classroom talk from their practice. The purpose of the analysis is to note how personal ideologies influence pedagogical choices and how discourses of the classroom are contested and negotiated. Candidates will design and structure discourses, giving students voice for application in their practice. The course requirements are to read the assigned readings, attend class discussion, participate in a study group, and then there are two key assessments. One focuses on genres of your discipline and how genre supports student learning and culminates in the design of an argumentative task. Every text we take up in our classroom has some agenda, has some inherent argument that we want to help the students uncover and evaluate and form their own opinion about. So we really want to focus on ideological literacy as opposed to this misunderstanding of literacy as being discrete and segmented. The integration of literacies within the disciplines of this course emphasize the importance of developing language and literacy in context and provide students with authentic, culturally relevant opportunities to develop reading, writing, speaking, and listening for real audiences. What I really want when you finish the class is for you to have a conception of literacy that is expansive, that looks at the ways your students practice literacy in their everyday lives, and as adolescents in today's society, students are practicing literacy in incredibly sophisticated and complex ways. I hope that in this class, you will leave with 
a real sense of how your practice can focus specifically on extending and supporting students' learning, whatever skills they come in with.